Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna, AKA Brani. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for returning for another video. So basically this is going to be a part two of my last video. This is just me revamping my style in a sense to show up as the woman that I'm trying to become. I want to have a wardrobe that's very cohesive with itself so I can mix and match pieces and put them together effortlessly without having any struggles because right now I'm completely lost when I look at my closet. It's just, it's, I don't really know how to explain it. It's not that I'm out growing things I've just kind of changed a little bit when it comes to what I like to wear on an everyday basis this is really specifically for just being well put together on an everyday basis so just a disclaimer I'm not saying that just because you're a certain age that you need to dress a certain way I know there's this big thing about that a lot of people feel otherwise but I'm not one of those people I feel like wear whatever you want whenever you want at any age it does not matter just be you and express yourself through your clothing but for me personally it's a preference I'm not saying that you have to do this as well just because you're a certain age just because you're 30 doesn't mean you have to dress a certain way. So basically the point of these videos is just for me to kind of find what my everyday style is going to look like. I don't really have much of an everyday style. I kind of just throw on sweats, a sweatshirt, a t-shirt when I go out and run errands and I'm just tired of being like that, okay? And if you're like me and you're trying to elevate your look in all aspects of your life, even just running to the store real quick, then let me know down below if you're gonna be switching up your style this year, if you have a specific vibe you're going for, if you wanna be more put together, this year let's have a conversation down below in the comments because I just want to see what everyone else is feeling I know that ever since I turned 30 I've kind of had this weird shift and I know it sounds cliche but I really have had this like mindset shift and everything is just kind of like changing in a way for me which is why I've been kind of MIA a little bit I've just been trying to figure things out and get things in order and just really figure out what I'm doing here okay so if you guys like this type of video definitely let me know down below essentially me just trying to find my style going into my 30s if you're in the same boat definitely let me know down below and we're gonna get right into the the video because I have a decent amount of looks so yeah let's get into it so first up is the outfit that I was wearing in the intro and we're going to spice this up a little bit more so here I have this top from Shein and this I have on in a size medium and it is very stretchy very comfortable and I just loved the sheen and the color of this top and with it I have on these jeans from Fashion Nova which let's just get into it okay say what you want about Fashion Nova but they got some good jeans okay these jeans I have on in a size US 9 by the way and they are tall girl friendly but this belt I have here is from Shein and they've been killing it with the belts lately. Like just some really cute, simple or statement belts that you can throw on to elevate your look. I have been obsessed. So definitely check them out. Okay. So this is what we're working with so far. And because I have the gold in the belt, I decided to do gold accessories as far as the bag and the shoes. So these shoes are from ASOS and I'm just going to be bringing out the gold a little bit more. I did want to do like a rusty orange, like the top. But I don't have any heels currently, so I'm on the hunt. And then, of course, with the bag, I wanted to kind of bring it all together with the same color. You could definitely do a gold clutch if you want. But I had this bag, which is also from Shein, and it just went perfectly with the look. So I felt like it just tied it all together real nicely. So I love this one. And now we're going to move on to the next fit. So this by far is probably top three in this video for me. I love a good monochromatic fit. And in this color... Are you kidding me? Okay, so this sweater I have on is from ASOS and it's a size large. And these pants are from Fashion Nova and they are in a size large as well. And they just look so good together. I was so shook. I had these two pieces and I was like, I think these will look really good together. And I put them together and I was like, this freaking eats. So here I'm just tucking it in just to give me a little bit more shape so you can see the detail on the front of the pants. And this is what we're working with so far. It looks really good. I'm like, <laughs> What else can I add? Okay, what what else can we add to make this even more fire than it already is? And since I said it's a monochromatic look, we're going to do the same color heels. So these heels right here are from Shein, believe it or not. And I'm obsessed, you guys. This look eats all the way down. It's one color, but it just looks so good. And these heels are just literally the cherry on top. And then to just kind of add a little bit of interest, you can definitely do a chartreuse green, olive, whatever color you want to call this bag but I decided to do gold because I just felt like it kind of like broke it up a little bit but I just love this outfit y'all like this gives okay I'm obsessed I really want to do this in like red so let me know if you guys want that so next up we have us a very basic canvas this is a white fitted tee from white fox and these jeans are actually from white fox as well one of my new favorite pair of jeans shout out to Angui she put me on because she posted a photo in these and I needed them in my life, okay? And I have these jeans on an extra large because I wanted them to be really loose and baggy. So with this look, 
I decided to go with this blazer that I got from the thrift store. I actually got this from Goodwill from the men's section. It was like $5 and I came up because I love this freaking blazer. It is literally everything and it has gold buttons on it. And y'all know how I feel about gold. So I was like, yes, this is a win-win. So this is the blazer, super oversized and it does have shoulder pads. So here I'm rolling up the sleeves and what I wanna do is let some of the white peek through because I have on the white shirt and I wanna just kinda of tie everything in. So I'm just going to roll it up to where the white is still kinda of sticking out a little bit. So this is what we're working with as you can see. And then to take it up even more, I decided to do these like pooter metallic pumps. I was like, yes, this is it right here. This is it right here. So I'm putting on these pumps. These pumps are from Shein and they are literally everything. I have been finding some really fire pumps, like really good quality, like very comfortable. Y'all, I will do a whole video if y'all want, but these are the two bag options that I was going for. And I was like, do I wanna stick with the metallic, like the heel? Or do I just wanna break it up a little bit? And I decided to break it up a little bit and do this bag because of the, it's like a pooter type of hardware on it, which I thought was perfect for like the heels and then the grayish tone and the, and the blazer. Everything just went together so well. So I decided to use this bag instead of the other one, but they still look really good, both of them. So yeah, this one, I'm gonna have to say this is top three as well. I love this outfit so much. I love me a good blazer. And this right here just did everything and then some. Okay, so next up we have us another basic canvas and the star of the show is this cardigan. So this top and these jeans are both from Fashion Nova and these jeans are probably one of my literal favorite pair of jeans that I own at the moment. So definitely check those out. And this cardigan has some really cute gold button detailing on it, which is going to tie in really nicely with this belt. So this belt right here is from Shein and it's the same belt that I showed you in the first outfit. It's just in this really cute taupe or top color, however you say it. So it has the gold C on the front, which I think is so cute because it goes perfectly with the cardigan and the gold button. So then we're going to throw on some heels and this isn't my favorite option, but it was the only option I had at the moment. So you can definitely throw on some nude heels or any type of heel color that you like, but this is what I had. I would have rather done like a snake print heel. That would have that would have looked so good, but I didn't have any at the time. So this bag right here is from Shein and it just looks really good with the taupe-ness that I have going on here. And the, the heels low key is kind of throwing me off. I ain't gonna hold you, but y'all get the point. The look is still fire. I'm definitely gonna go look for some like grayish taupey snake print heels. Cause I think that will look really good with this outfit. But nonetheless, this outfit still looks so, so nice. So yeah, we're gonna move on to the next look. Let me know down below what you guys think about this one. So next up we have this look right here and this top is from ASOS and it is a men's top. I have it on in a extra, extra large because I wanted it to have this like draped type of fit, if that makes sense. And these pants are from a black owned brand, which I'm so mad that I don't remember what the name is. I got these for New York Fashion Week last year and I ended up not wearing them because they didn't get to me in time, but they are gorgeous. So to go along with these pants, I have these heels, which are from Shein. Like I said, y'all, Shein has been killing the game with heels. Okay, put these on, added a real nice little touch. I definitely wish I had some type of belt to add to this look, but because I didn't have one, I was like, let's just throw on a bag that has a little bit of, you know, extraness in it so that it kind of takes away from me not having on a belt. Like I feel like this needs a centerpiece, but I couldn't find a belt that I wanted to wear with this, let alone I didn't have one. So yeah, just imagine I had on like a belt, a really cute, big, chunky belt or something in the middle with like an eye-catching buckle or something. So on top of that, I was like, I also don't know how I feel about that bag that I just had on. So I put this one on and it kind of brought it down a little bit. It doesn't look as, I don't know the word for it, but I feel like this is more of a better fit. It's more subtle and it's more my vibe. So next up, I decided to add a little pop of red. Y'all know I love me a good pop of red. So this top is from ASOS and I have this on in a size large. And these jeans are from Zara and I have had these for like a year now. And I did get them taken in because they were super gappy in the back. And these jeans fit like a glove. I love these jeans so much and they do have a split hem as well. So with this, because of the red, you can't really see in the shirt, but it is there. It has like a nude, type of color in there. So it goes perfectly with these heels with a little red strip. And these heels are from ASOS. And then on top of this, because it is a little chilly out, I decided to throw on this cute little jacket, which is also from ASOS. And this just kind of like 
I don't know, adds another, another layer to the fit, which I really like. And of course, because we only have one little pop of red, I had to add another pop, which is my bag. So now I have it in my top, the bag, and then a little peek in the shoes, and it just looks really good together. And this outfit is definitely one of my favorites. If you even wanted to throw on a red lip, that might eat with this look too. So next up, this is an outfit that you partially seen on my Instagram, but this tank top is a Loewe dupe and it's from Ego and I have on these pants from, what is it, Hollister. There we go, Hollister. And then this jacket here is from Zara. And this is obviously just because it's chilly out and you wanna, you know, cover up. But I love the structure of this jacket. I love how it kind of like elevates a very simple look like this. It makes it look like I'm like dressed to the nines and I'm really just comfortable as hell. So this jacket I have on in a size large, the pants extra large, and the tank a medium. And with this, just to break it up, because I'm just, y'all know, I gotta add a little element of fun sometimes. These mules are from Shein, and they were cow print, and I just thought they were super cute. And with this, I decided to pair it with this Balenciaga bag, because I feel like it kind of gives the vibes of this fit. And then the sunglasses, just to add a little bit of color, these are from Tom Ford, and they are literally my favorite sunglasses, like... For real, for real, I wish I could wear them every single day. And yeah, this is just a really chill, kind of elevated at the same time type of look. This is a, I'm running errands and I'm just trying to be cute. I'm going out for coffee. I'm just walking around the city, just looking real good, real comfortable, just minding my business, okay? So I actually wore this one walking around to the mall and just being out and about. And I felt so comfortable, but I looked so well put together and I loved it. So next up we have this top, which is from Shein, and I just loved the stripes and then obviously the detail in the front. So it's not like your typical wrap top, but it is kinda, and it has like this really cute detail, which actually is kind of annoying because it doesn't stay in place. You have to keep adjusting it, but it is still really cute. This top I have on in a size large, and these pants are from Fashion Nova, and I have these pants on in a size large as well. And this I just thought was a really like, I feel like this is appropriate for work. I don't know, you guys let me know down below. That's why I kind of stray away from doing like work attire, work wear, because I've never worked in a office setting or corporate, so I don't really know what's appropriate and what's not, but I feel like this is. So let me know down below if it is or not, but I just decided to pair it with this bag that I got from Amazon. I believe this is like a Gucci inspired bag, but it's a really, really nice bag. Very good quality, I love it. So this I just added to this fit because I just felt like it gave grown and sexy and I love this. Okay, so next up we have us another fit that might be appropriate for corporate, okay? Corporate job, office job. I'm not sure, but let me know down below. So this top I have on from ASOS and these are the same Fashion Nova pants from the last clip. And this blazer is from ASOS and I just decided to put it on top of this top just to add another layer. And this outfit, I feel like I'm just missing like a briefcase or something because it's definitely giving, I'm about my business, okay? I'll see you in a meeting in five minutes. Okay, girl, it's definitely giving, but this I thought was a really nice look and I would definitely do a red lip with this. I just didn't want to put on a red lip because obviously I'm filming a video with a bunch of different outfits, but anywho, these heels right here are from Shein and I wanted to do a white little pointed toe. I feel like that always makes something look really elevated. And these are super comfortable as well. The sling back, you just gotta tighten it and you're good to go. And with this, I decided to also pair it with a white clutch. But if this is where you wanted to add some color, this will be the perfect time to do so. So I just had this white clutch, but I didn't wanna do too much. So that's why I did the white clutch, but you can definitely add any color you'd like. And another thing that I would have added as well is a belt. I definitely feel like this needs a belt or something to kind of like pop right there in the center, like a belt buckle and this look would be a 10 out of 10. Next up, we have us another basic canvas, and this is a white fitted top, which is from PLT, but it's no longer available, so I will link a similar one down below. And these jeans are from PLT as well, and they just fit really well. I have these on in a US, I believe a US 8. They're really tight, okay, but they fit really nicely. So with this look, I wanted to do a denim on denim vibe, and this blazer is from AFRM, and they have some really, really nice pieces like really nice they sell them on revolve i want to say they sell it on asos and they have their own website so i would definitely check them out but this blazer i have on in a size extra extra large because y'all already know how i do okay i've had this blazer for like a year and a half now and i finally feel like 
okay let's it's time to bring her out okay when I first got it I just got it I didn't really know what I was doing so here I'm just pulling up the sleeves of course because we want to be a little bit more I don't know you don't want to look like you're drowning in it so this kind of gives it a little bit more shape ish in a way so this outfit is obviously very silver driven with my silver accessories so I put on these heels which are from Shein and these were super affordable they were like 14 bucks maybe 12 I don't remember but obviously very affordable and this clutch right here is also from Shein but I will link a similar one down below because I don't know if this is available anymore but this right here is definitely a look I love this denim on denim vibe this blazer I'm so glad that I got this blazer when I did because I don't think it's available anymore. Okay, so last but certainly not least, we have on a dress. I know you guys, I have on a dress. This is so freaking cute, I could not pass it up. This is from ASOS and it is a blazer dress. And the only thing I will say, I would probably get this taken in at the waist a little bit just to kind of snatch it in and it would be perfect, but it's still so cute. So obviously I have on some black tights because it is cold and I wanted to do a very specific type of look with this blazer dress. So these tights are from PLT. So with this, I decided to put on these sling back heels because I feel like a sling back heel always eats with a pair of tights. And these heels are from Miss Lola. I have not been able to find them, but I will link similar ones down below. And then of course, a beret. So the beret is what I feel like takes the outfit to another level, low key, another country. It just makes me feel super luxurious. And I just love this whole vibe. This might even be low key kind of fire with the red lip as well. But this right here is definitely one of my favorites. And I can't believe I'm saying that because I'm wearing a dress. But with this, I couldn't decide on the bag. But I decided to go with this Caperni bag because the shape. I feel like the shape added some interest to the look. But you can definitely do a black clutch, a silver clutch, whatever type of bag you'd like. But I just thought that this shape did something for this fit. And this is the very last fit. I'm so sad in this video, but if you guys want more of this, definitely let me know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a huge thumbs up if you want more content like this. I really enjoyed this one. I had so much fun putting these looks together and just trying out different things and just really getting my grown woman on, okay? So I'm super excited about where my style is headed this year. And let me know down below if you're gonna be switching up your style this year as well and where you're gonna be shopping at. I would love to know because I really wanna find some new places to shop this year. High quality, you know, but on a budget because we're still trying to save. Not trying to break the bank this year. So definitely be sure to follow your girl on Instagram so you can see me style these pieces in the future and then some. So with all that being said, I love you guys so, so much and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.